Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving if a fatal error occurred while trying to sysprep the machine. So basically, if you're coming across this issue, if you're trying to use this utility several times, and generally speaking, unless you're a system administrator, you're probably not coming across this issue. So we're just going to go ahead and just jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the start menu. Type in regedit, it's so R-E-G-E-D-I-T, best match, I'll come back to registry editor. You want to go ahead and right click on that and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. Now before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest you create a backup of it so if anything went wrong, you could easily restore it back. And in order to create the backup, it's very simple. Just go ahead and left click on the file tab select export file name I would suggest naming it the date in which you're making the backup export range should be selected to all and then save it to a convenient location on your computer and then just click on save to save it if you ever need to restore back from it you can select file and then import navigate to the file location so again pretty simple and once that backup is done you are ready to begin and we're going to start by double clicking on the HK local machine folder so go ahead and double click on that do the same thing now for the software folder. Please know you can also follow along with our path up at the top of the screen here. Each backslash is a different subfolder we are going under. So if you need to slow the video down or pause it once we get to the end, you're welcome to. But anyway, now that you've already expanded software, we're going to do the same for the Microsoft folder. Now you want to navigate to Windows NT. Double click on that, do the same thing for current version, and now navigate to software protection. So software protection platform I should say, so there's only one software protection folder in general in here, so software protection platform. So now you want to locate the skip rearm dword value on the right side, so go ahead and just double click on that. For value data, you want to just type the number 1 here. So again, just type the number 1, delete the 0 if there's any other numbers, and then select OK. Make sure basis hexadecimal 2, and select OK, like I said. Once you're done, close out of the registry editor, and that should pretty much be about it. I would suggest restarting your computer nonetheless, just to make sure that takes effect. And like I said, that's it. So. Pretty straightforward process here, guys. I do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.